Okay, so we've come to the last part of the slideshow in Photoshop Lightroom 4. And what we're going to try to do now is to add a little bit of a soundtrack to this particular little slideshow. And so we click the soundtrack button on, and then we're going to go look for some music. Now, you know, we try to talk to the students about using music that's appropriate, school appropriate, etc. But um, maybe it also has to be appropriate to the particular theme. And we don't know what the, the kids are thinking about their images. So let's take a look at um, select music there. And we're going to show the children, and we got to get into pick it someplace. So I'm going to go over to the bottom left here and choose music. And then from that list, I'm going to choose iTunes. And you could choose the, the music from anywhere. If you had it on a flash drive or something, you could take it from there. And then over on the right-hand side here, I'm just going to choose the time. Now, that's the longest amount of time. That's the shortest amount of time. And I tell them, you know, make sure that this doesn't last forever. People are going to lose their patience trying to look at this picture forever. So they need to find something that's going to make sense. Well, here's a little song by Green Day that has to do with, you know, dealing with parent angst, etc. And so we're going to hit this Choose button. And we're going to see it over here. And it says title of the song, and we know it's by Green Day, and it says it's a minute 34. That's not bad, because in a minute and a half, you can show all the pictures, and then we'd be pretty close to done, and everybody be happy, and things move right along. Now, if the music is really hopping along, it kind of helps us out with the with this uh, slideshow. If it's going a little slower, it's going to tell us that the slideshow, you know, should maybe be looked at a little bit differently. So one of the things we want to try to do here is choose this fit to music. I'm going to click on that. And what it's going to do, look what it did here. It changed. The slides are going to go real fast, and the fades are going to take too long. Well, I don't want that. So I'm going to click on the fades, make me make them less, and say fit to music. There we go. So I have to kind of rearrange it every once in a while. But the fades are going to be quick, and the slides are going to go be only on the, the screen for about two seconds. So that means this is pretty quick. To see what the preview is going to look like, come down to the bottom, make sure you clicked on the first picture like we were before, and hit preview. Give it a second. Now, unfortunately, when I <laughs> clicked on that to stop the slideshow, you notice that it took a couple extra seconds for the for iTunes to stop there. But that's the idea. We got a picture that got a, a song that kind of cooks along a little bit, and it kind of makes sense to what this uh, student's work was all about. So, if we're happy with that, we can say OK. And I'm just going to close that up for a second. And we like the way it fits the music, so we're going to go back to the original slide, click. And then we're going to come over to the right-hand side, and we're going to choose Play. And what it'll do is it'll actually build the slideshow from the beginning. And it fills the frame so that we can see all of the slides. And then I'll just hit Escape to show you that. But it filled the frame so we can see the whole thing. And we're happy with it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to export it. You've got two options. You can export as a PDF. And exporting it as a PDF is a good idea if you know that you want to put this on um, or send it over the internet or something to somebody that you can say, hey, here's my set of images. Problem with that is if you export it as a PDF, you can't take the music with you and it's going to choose its own rate of dissolves for all of the slides. Well, if you worked real hard to make sure that your slides should dissolve at a certain rate and that the music makes sense to it, don't choose export PDF. Let's choose export video. Click. So this comes up. We're going to give it a title. And this is going to be the name of the student and their project. And you want to re reinforce that with your students. You know, get that name in there and get the name of the title of the project and everything so that I don't have to chase it around and look for it as something else. Uh, I know what it is. Then you've got some options. You can choose smaller size files or bigger size files. You can even have this be um, 1080p, high definition. But if you put your cursor over one of those, just for a second, it'll tell you what that really is good for. 
So if I say I want this small size, it's optimized for personal media players, email compatible with Adobe Media Player, etc. Click on a different one, it'll tell you. Uh, there we go, mobile devices for your iPhone. All right, and this one is for the media player as well, handheld devices. Getting a little bit bigger here. Apple TV and 720p, YouTube, Facebook. That's probably a good one. And if you go to 1080p, that's high definition video. You might not be able to send this to everybody. So let's do the 720p. And we're going to say export. Now, where do we want to export it? I always ask my students to make sure they put it someplace that we can get it. And a lot of times they'll forget. They're working on a particular machine and they'll put it into the documents folder and forget where that is. And they'll say, I'm sure I saved it. <laughs> I'm sure you did. But you got to save it someplace where we can get it. So what we want to do is let's just put it on the desktop for now. And we have it already labeled and we're just going to hit export. And when we do that, it's going to build this slideshow. And in the top left file uh, corner here, we see the file being built. It says export slideshow as video and it's encoding the frames. And uh, all of the frames that she had saved had original file names and that's what they're going by there. And it's going to do this whole little slideshow until the slideshow is done. And so in the interest of time here, we're going to just stop this video at this particular point and it's going to be done. And if you want to see the final video, what I'll do is I will just include it uh, on the YouTube with the rest of these. All right, thanks for play playing along here.